So, hello guys. In today's video, we'll do one of the highest requested video at Wavecom. So, we're gonna do the configuration of the Nano Station M2 Loco. So, what do you need? You need a PoE injector. You need outdoor rated Cat6 cable crimped. You need a short patch cord, and then your Nano Station M2 Loco. What else? Don't forget, you'll also need a laptop or a computer to go with. So the first thing to do is to connect now these two, these equipments together. So first, plug it from power. There's power. Power now the PO injector. Now, you see on the PoE side, this one that is written PoE. PoE stands for power over Ethernet. So it will send both power and data to the nano station M2. So first, the outdoor rated cable, plug it to the PoE side then plug it now to your nano station m2 local that point so one that's powered you should see a light here showing it's powered then on the LAN side if you are to check on the poe injector you see it's written LAN. now that cable now plug your small ethernet patch cord now this patch cord is the one that will connect to the laptop so that you can do the configuration if your nano station is not new We'll need to reset now the nano station M2. Now let me show you the process of resetting the nano station M2. So what you do here is the reset button for the nano station M2. Take a pin and then insert it over there and then reset. Check on these lights. Just press on that reset while you're checking the lights. It will blink one, two, then three, then reset, then release. Now the nano station M2 has been reset. Those people who are asking, why are you using CAT6 outdoor rated cable? Because these M2 will be mounted outside. We need a cable that can sustain the harsh environment. That's why you're using an outdoor rated cable. So after successful now resetting the nano station M2, now plug now that cable to your laptop. The LAN, just plug it there. Then you'll see these two lights the power and the LAN come on. Now let's do the configuration on the machine. So after con after successful now plugging of your nano station M2 and also resetting it, now let's do some few. Now let's do the configuration of it on our laptop. So for now, we'll first open our control panel. Just open control, control panel over here. Now let's go to network and sharing center. This is the network and sharing center and then go to change adapter settings so identify your ethernet adapter so this is my ethernet adapter then i can click on properties over here so when you have clicked on properties just click on internet protocol version 4 and use the following ip so here type an ip of 182.168.1.19 over here just click on this one it will actually autofill that is too 255.0 for the subnet mask then just click here validate setting upon exit then click ok then here ok just click here to cancel now we need to open our browser and in order now to access the nano station m2 you need just to type an ip of 1 inch 2.168.1.20 so just click here advance then click to proceed so the username for a reset nano station M2 is normally is normally UBNT and the password is also UBNT. So for this one, I normally like just to set my country to be licensed over here. Then I have read the terms and then just click on login. So as you can see here, I'm in. First thing to do before even we start configuring now the M2 is to update our system. As you can see, the firmware is running SM V version 6.1.11. So we need to go in through to the Ubiquiti Unify uh, website in order to see if they have an update for this nano station M2. So what I'll do, I'll just connect to the internet. Let me just first unplug the patch code, then I connect to an internet connection. So as you can see, I'm connected to an internet connection now if i check that is ubiquity software if i go to ui.com software and here i check for this is the nano station m2 nano 
nano station M2 local. So this is the nano station M2 local. And then we have two version XW and XM. So if we were to check ours is XM. So XM, let's just check for XM. This is XM and you can see the latest version is 6.32. So ours was outdated because this one is running 6.3. So let me let me just this is XM. Let me just download for XM like so. And it has downloaded on our computer. As you can see, we have the download file. So plug back your nano station M2, then access the site again. So it was to refresh this one. Your connection was interrupted. Let's just give it. So I'm back. So we need to upload our file. So choose file over here. Then the one that you have downloaded, then click on open, then upload this file. So it will upload the file and update the nano station M2. So let's just give it like a few minutes to do so. So as you can see, we have uploaded the file and then just click update now to update the nano station M2. So the firmware is being updated. So while the firmware is being updated, kindly don't power your nano station M2 don't power i prefer if you are doing this one you have a power backup so that it cannot the firmware installation cannot be interrupted by a power failure because if the software is brick during the configuration we'll have now to again reinstall the software so we'll just give it like around two minutes for it to update the firmware so that you can start now the configuration for it as an hotspot for hotspot so that you can use it for a hotspot. So I'll just just click on advanced to log to log in back. So proceed. Then as you can see, even now the prompt has changed. So here it will it's normally U B N T in small letter. So new password. It will actually want me to set up a new password. So for this one, let me just input my password. Make sure it's a strong password. Country. For this one just set your country so for mine i'm in kenya for now then click here i've read their terms and then click on login now we are in so the first thing to do is to come here under wireless change this to ap ap access point enable yds here set the ssid so for this ssid just set with co hotspot then change this channel width 20 20 megahertz then we don't need security we need it to be open so that users cannot are not prompted to set to input a wi-fi password so just click on change here and click on apply so just give it a minute or so to deliver the configuration so that you can navigate to the advanced section so under advanced just set the output distance to be max then click on change then apply the changes when you are done with advanced i'll click on this logo over here just click on it also give it like a few minutes for it to deliver the configuration to the nano station m2 then on that icon just come here and disable air max to click on change then apply the changes so that's essentially it so if i was to check on my unplug the cable then i check on my wi-fi as you can see we've got hotspot here so essentially you are just done you are done configuring now your nano station m2 so you can go mount now the nano station m2 either on a pole and then the cable that's connected on the computer now you can now plug it to your microtech and now your users will be able to access your hotspot network via the m2 and then will be automatically built because the LAN cable is plugged to your microtech which already has the system